it is not at all a step. So, so if the cycle is stolen, okay, let it be. That's how we No, like that. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you may have the feeling of uh, struggle within yourself. You may mm -hmm. have the feeling of sorrow. It is not in your hand, it comes okay. naturally. Mm -hmm. You should not take everything is okay in it. <laughs> so if you oh, think I like that, exactly. Like it's a a uh, if you think like that, everything is okay. If it is also kind of monolaya. So it, so you are designing you are designing your mind to say hey, everything is okay. That is that is also kind of so design. in that place I could not understand where which is, can you feel that mano nasa? That's just a you need not understand mano nasa. nasa it's but true. It's you have to understand the mano laya alone. <laughs> 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 because there is there is no understanding for required for mano laya. <laughs> you need not understand. You need not go through mano nasa. Just because they put the word mano nasa and mano laya, so we just want to know that word. That's what um, we want to learn mano laya nasa. That is another mano laya. <laughs> so you cannot. See, you understand? Yes, 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 I. Yes, I want to learn Manolaya. Just like Anpans, yes. Manolaya, Nasa, I want to learn. Uh -huh. That is another Manolaya. So, how you can solve a Manolaya with the help then, of another Then it is unexplainable. Yes. Uh -huh. Unexplainable? No, 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 you tell me whether it is required. So our, our work is whether we have to do anything with related to the Manolaya or not. Yes. That alone is in question. We have no question about the Mano Nasa. Mano Nasa, if you expect anything, means we are creating more Mano Nasa yeah, like yeah, yeah, in the sir. name of Mano Nasa. Uh, what are you asking means in the state of Mano Nasa, the person is liberated, something he said must be. No. Uh, that is uh, 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 not. See, that uh, is also, it is already there. Already there. You, uh, recognize, uh, you have recognized that. Uh, now. Uh, Manolaya Nasa is liberation. You have recognized that, okay? Uh, of course, if you ask a question, uh, you have to take up Manolaya in your hand and only you can ask a question. Yes, so, if you drop that question, that gets uh, sound automatically. Uh, it means uh, that even the liberated person will have the Laya in, in his Yes, in his you mind. should have Laya uh, uh, to so function in the external world. External. That is why. Yes, uh, even, even Manolaya uh, Nasa. He has to function, he has to yes, come yes. and give a lecture. So even to the, that is the, even to the internal world also, it will be there. But that it will not be that, uh, holding to, uh, uh, yes, holding to, to that state. Uh, this, uh, you will not be a critic of yourself. Means, uh, I have one question here. So many, uh, some of the uh, techniques people are telling as a no mind state. The no mind state means, uh, uh, is it no manolaya? Are we trying to create no manolaya? Means so the natural flow is the manolaya. It means that are we disturbing the manolaya in the no-mind state? So here, there is no manolaya itself. Because when there is no mind, how can there be manolaya? But can we say that no-mind is equal to the mananasa state? No. 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 Mano, no mananasa means the mind must be there, but it must be free from manolaya. <coughs> Ah, yes. no? So it, it, is, it, 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 it must be capable of creating manolaya. The next moment it must be free from manolaya itself. It means that if you say it's a no mind state, do we creating a forced uh, mano nasa state by force? The no mind state? So it is a different thing. It has no connection with the mano <coughs> nasa. So it is a withdrawal <laughs> state. It is a withdrawal state just like a sleep. Uh, the sleep state or the samadhi state samadhi. is the <coughs> is the withdrawal state. That is the no mind state. Thoughtlessness and emotional lessness. But at the same time, it is a kind of mind. Some mind is there, yeah. but this wandering mind is not there. Mm -hmm. So it is a withdrawal state. Even in samadhi state, even in sleep state, also some mind is there, but it is not in the uh, functional state. But when, they, when they, it is in the functional state, so the laya must be in the flowing state. So that is the main thing. So even after the understanding, the, without mano laya we cannot live. We can, so each and every moment we must have laya. Mano laya must be there. And with mano laya alone we can live. But at the same time we cannot be caught by the mano laya. Moment, it must be in the liquid form. It comes and goes, just like right, uh, we are uh, writing upon the water. To the moment it is we are writing, letters must be there. The next moment it must be free. So <coughs> this way, we must have a layer. The next moment it will be, it must disappear. We should not retain. We should not try to retain anything. 
but at the same time you need not remove anything. So it, it goes naturally. <coughs> So, Swamiji, can we have conscious and unconscious manalaya? So there's a reaction in my mind, uh, like sorrow, is an unconscious manalaya. It's, it's sorrow has taken shape, but then I can go <coughs> consciously, I want to change that sorrow so, so as well. conscious manalaya. So because man all, some emotion happens, all emotion happens unconsciously, without our expectation, emotion comes. It is manalaya. Yeah. But when you consciously do create something, uh, it is also a created manolaya. Right. So you can have conscious and unconscious. You can be conscious or unconscious. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Technical question about the samadhi state, which is a little bit... Anyway, that's good. Ramana and Nastagadatta seem to be, from the stories that we hear, able to live in a samadhi state where they didn't have a mind, still a state, and they managed to sustain it for many years. Is that your, is that your understanding? Were they in it, was Ramana in a samadhi state from 20 years till he was 70 years, for 50 years? So, when we are living in the body, we may go to the state of Samadhi when we are living. But after the death of the body, so our subtle body goes away from the physical body. Some, somebody may say that I am, we can permanently live with the body, so that is not possible. But at the same time, the subtle body has the power to go anywhere. But it can, it can enter into the dead body itself. But at the same time, it cannot activate the dead body. But when you are living, for the time being, you may go away from the physical body and return to the physical body. But if, the, if you are dead, it's once, it's once for all, it go away from the body. We cannot return to the body. Yeah, I think the next question is, yes. is it possible to live this life mm. with the Ramana's background? Mm. Like, I, he'll be in Samadhi as well as he'll be, am I right? Yeah. So he'll also be acting on day. So he's in a state of Samadhi, mm. but he's still uh, doing all his activities, am I right? Yes, yeah, because question. Samadhi, we're assuming Samadhi means no mind, but like you said, we have to have mind to be physical human beings. So for me, I'm just seeing a contradiction there. So basically, everybody is in the original state. Everybody is in the Mano Nasa state. Yeah. But in but here, the uh, some uh, some uh, some laya laya comes. So here, whether we are struggling with the laya or not is the question. But basically, everybody is in the state. Everybody everybody is in the liberated state. Everybody is in the Laya state, Laya free state. Laya, so the Laya comes and disappears. That is the, not only for Ramana, everybody is in the state. <coughs> wow. But he is not struggling with these Manalayas. Yes. And uh, the other persons are struggling with the Manalaya. That is the difference. So Basically, everybody is in the Manalaya state. So a lot of people like myself were attracted to him because he seemed, I thought, all the spiritual teachings were saying the reason that he's so special is because he was in Samadhi and we all bow down to his Samadhi. But actually, the real attraction is he was free. Is that true? His real attraction is that, yes, he was in Samadhi, but that actually is secondary. The most important thing about Ramana is that he was living in Mono Nasa all the time. He was free all the time. So here, the physical samadhi is different from the manual nasa. Manual nasa is the, when we are living, the natural state of our mind is in the manual nasa. That is the natural state of our mind. That is the liberated state of our mind. And would you say that Ramana was living in Ramana? So uh, Ramana, certain times, he go to physical samadhi itself. So physical samadhi is uh, different from the manual nasa state. <coughs> manual nasa is the natural state. But the physical samadhi is some created state. 
So it is uh, when we focus our attention to the uh, the mano the the uh, another may cause we go to the samadhi state. This is a created state. Mm -hmm. When we create some state and we can live that state. So that is different. And uh, but we cannot uh, live there for very long because it will disturb the uh, health of the body itself. But uh, it is not the correct state. But at the same time, you can go to Nirvigalpa Samadhi. Nirvigalpa Samadhi is different. Nirvigalpa Samadhi, you are unconscious of your experience. When you do, when you do not conscious of your experience, your body can survive. But if you are conscious of your happiness or bliss, uh, your body cannot withstand. Your nervous system will be broken down. I'm still, I don't think you've got my question. So, like you said, he couldn't live permanently in his samadhi state when he wasn't in his but samadhi state. His samadhi description state. may be like this, but that is not the description of myself. My description is that we, we, everybody is in the, uh, the real state. The real state is for everybody. Yeah. But only the only difference between the uh, enlightened and the ordinary person is that uh, the ordinary person is in struggle with the uh, manolaya. One manolaya is in struggle with the other manolaya. Mm -hmm. But the uh, liberated person is not struggling. No, they are not entertaining any struggle within themselves. They give allow the manolaya to f free flow. Mm -hmm. So the free flow is the main thing. This is a deciding factor. Yeah, and that Ramana was uh, yeah, living yeah, in that yeah, free flying yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. 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 Isn't, that's that, that, isn't that the definition of, of Sahaja Samadhi? Yeah. Whether it's the free flowing, <coughs> natural. You're in Samadhi, but you're also uh, in the world and yeah. you can function. The functioning mind is is up, is there, but you're it's also you're also aware of the mana, the mananasa is also it's also free flowing, so that the mananasa is also there. I mean, not using words, but you know. Yes, I put another question there. You, you said that uh, uh, the kids are in the liberated I want to bring that, uh, this thing. The kids are in the liberated state. When we have grown up and acquired that intellect, we are disturbing the, uh, uh, the liberated state, what we have. Correct. Okay. So, so it means that... Everybody is in the liberated state, not only the kids. Ah. You, you are in the liberated state, I am in the liberated state, everybody in the liberated state. The kids are not disturbing the liberated states, but we are disturbing the liberated states. As, if, as we are having the intellect, but we select something. When we select something, we are disturbing the natural flow. So the natural flow is the liberation. So it means, okay, sorry. That means we are selecting some manolaya. We want to dismiss some manolaya. We want to catch hold of some manolaya. That is the disturbance of the uh, flowing state, that is the disturbance of the mano nasa. So it means that if I have a happiness in my manolaya, or uh, uh, intellect tries to hold that manolaya for longer time, or if I have a worry or a fear as a part of a manolaya, I want to disturb, I don't want that, I want to destroy that. Yeah. So that intention, what this so the intention itself is a kind of manolaya, and one manolaya against the other manolaya. That is the, that is the struggle between manolaya. So, so do you mean to say that the kids don't have that type of uh, destruction? Yeah. So it will not have the intellect time. They may be, physically they may want something, but they don't want psychologically. I must be always in a happy state. I will, I should not have any anger. I should not have any fear. They won't uh, say like that. They won't feel like that. They will not feel any correction within themselves. Oh, yeah. Um, you spoke about uh, that when you were seeking, you had a secret desire to be in a state. When you seek for enlightenment. So, whenever you are seeking, it is monolaya. But when you speak about your, when you were seeking enlightenment, you, mm -hmm. and you said uh, that actually you were looking for a state, a mm -hmm. permanent state. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that, was that conscious, is that like conscious desire, maybe it's a lot of people that come for looking for 
coming uh, here or just like for some place. Maybe there's a secret desire to reach a state. So not really to be so, here, so everything so till we are having the understanding what to do, what not to do, so we have to seek. The seek we have to seek the help of the Manolaya itself. The understanding, the inquiry, everything is Manolaya. With the Manolaya alone, we have to because the here our, we are seeking that what is the correct state of Manolaya. So the correct state of Manolaya is to come and disappear. So that is the correct state of Manolaya. It has to come. It is necessary for Manolaya. Without Manolaya we cannot live, we cannot feel anything. So we have to have Manolaya. But the, the correct Manolaya is that it has to disappear freely. So, but at the same time, if you create another Manolaya to deal with the Manolaya, that is a struggle within also. So for all these things we have to understand. So this understanding also within the area of Manolaya. It is not the Manolaya will not, Mano Nasa will not come to the scene of understanding. The all understanding, enlightenment, everything is in the Manolaya. It has no connection with Mano Nasa. But when we correctly understand, naturally the some free, free flow of Manolaya is there. The free flow of Manolaya, that we can rightly say, it is liberation. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it sounds like uh, the liberated state, it, um, it's not contradicted to, to having an ego, because it may arise, and this is what's happening, uh, 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 this is the shape. That, that happened. Is, is it correct or...? Uh... So it is there. Well, the ego is there, it is happening. Whatever happening, let it happen. So psychologically, the ego may happen, anything may happen. We have to treat as a natural one. But uh, it is not necessary, the ego has no necessary place in the psychological world. Even, even though it is unnecessary, it may happen like this, doesn't matter. But whenever you you accuse itself, when you criticize itself, then only it becomes a problematic one. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind the formation of ego itself, then next moment you'll be free from that. So no need, no, there's no need to dissolve the, the ego. The, no, solve the ego. The, Whatever comes, let it come and go. But to the external work alone, we have to keep something. We have to take some form. We have to maintain some form. But psychologically, we need not maintain any form in the name of ego or in the name of anything.